The evidence just keeps stacking up that we are correct regarding the timeline of history being incorrect, inconsistent, and at best, completely made up to keep the population of this planet in the dark regarding the origins of who we are. Right around 12,000 years ago, something so dramatic occurred on this planet that it brought the ancient civilization to its knees, to the brink of extinction, and the reset was unfolding. These events were witnessed and documented, but to paint a picture, the cataclysm was possibly triggered by a comet strike. This led to Earth events like volcanic eruptions and the sun being blocked out by dust and, of course, the displacement of water in the form of a great flood. On every corner of this planet, we now see debris from this time. The debris that survives in the form of granite and limestone blocks as well as other dense material, have unusual patterns cut into them. These unusual patterns, in most cases, are consistent with a fitting of some sort having been present. When construction was complete, and it must have been a man-made metallic object in most cases, the metal, of course, is the victim of corrosion. But the debris remains, and this suggests that a past event occurred on a global scale. The complexities of the ancient structures and how they would have looked also suggest a technologically advanced society in the very distant past that were affected by this cataclysm. Now, for the first time, using the dating of an ancient wasp nest for a timeline, rock paintings discovered in Australia in 1891 are now showing to be dating to around 12,000 years old. And according to the research, these paintings are showing concerned residents of ancient Australia being inundated by a rising of the sea waters. The lack of charcoal in these paintings, compared with other Aboriginal rock arts, makes the dating difficult for these particular rock paintings, and this is why they had the bright idea to use the wasp nest to date the art, because the wasps built their nest on top of the paintings, it means the paintings are older than the nest, and this gives a conservative date of 12,000 years ago. However, the researchers dated a single large nest and determined that the painting under it was more than an astonishing 17,000 years old. The technique could be used to date only large nests whose contents hadn't been exposed to the sun. The method works by using an optical technique that measured how long quartz sand grains had been buried inside. The wasp inadvertently deposited tiny specks of charcoal into their mud nest, and this means that the nest, and therefore the paintings, can be dated by radiocarbon-14 methods. The researchers applied their method to wasp nests from 21 paintings at 14 different rock shelters. In 13 cases, the nest lay on top, making the paintings older than the nest. In six cases, the nest lay beneath, making the paintings younger than the nest. One painting had two overlying nests plus an underlying nest, allowing the researchers to reliably bracket the age of the paintings for the first time to 12,000 years ago, give or take 500 years. And this period in history just happens to coincide with the ancient cataclysm. This brought about a rapid ending of an ice age when rising seas inundated northern Australia and shrank the lands of the Kimberley region by half. The resulting chaos displaced populations, but this wasn't a localized event native to Australia. This was the event that was responsible for the destruction of the ancient civilization. Indeed, the world event first triggered by at least one comet strike. The spiraling world events thereafter were violent and out of control. First, the impact, then the destruction and the survival. The survival we are still recovering from as we speak. We just don't know it. This was a notable connection from a lost people telling us of the things that they witnessed. These people possibly didn't survive the cataclysm like the Aboriginal people did. We thought it was noteworthy of the changing events the researchers point out in their dating. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.